My grandfather was a home brewer and then when I was at university I played around a bit with uh, home brewing. I probably had that epiphany moment when I was in California and discovered craft beer, which was beer unlike I'd ever tasted before. It was just like, wow, this beer has aroma and flavour like I've never experienced it before. It doesn't taste like what I thought beer was. Like looking around, and like, well, where's the craft beer in New Zealand? I went down to my local brewery, asked for a job, and they said, you're crazy. We've only just opened. We can't afford to take on an assistant brewer. And so I used to go down every weekend and hang out and sort of help them out with brewing and cleaning tanks and painting the brewery floor. And, and eventually they said, after about 12 months, you seem pretty keen. So um, yeah, we, we'll, we'll make a position for you. After about nine months, the head brewer left. I became the head brewer. Um, the following year was the inaugural New Zealand Beer Awards and I won Supreme Champion Beer of New Zealand and I um, was like well let's make a bottled beer and that ultimately became Epic. Um, I don't know what the number is now for um, the Epic Armageddon IPA. In the last 12 months it's won Best IPA um, twice in New Zealand, once in Australia and once in Sweden. It's actually unprecedented by any beer on the planet ever. Once again, the beer got entered in the New Zealand Beer Awards and it won Supreme Champion Beer of New Zealand in 2006. So off the back of that, everyone just rang us. So it was the perfect storm. Well, where are the best owls coming from in the world? England, they're known for their owls. So I thought, well, I'm gonna use their malt. Um, Epic Pale Ale actually uses um, a malt called Golden Promise. It's also used in the Scottish distilling industry. Who's making the best pilsners in the world? Germans and the Czechs. So that's where I get my pilsner malt from. I really love the, the characteristics from the hops from the Pacific Northwest, uh, specifically the Yakima Valley. Every year I head up at um, harvest time in September and I go and visit the growers, get to select hops out of the different lots for the different varietals and try and understand what is it about these places that are creating the characters that I want and then bringing that home. I, I always find when I'm creating something new, it's trying to push the boundaries and um, just using the ingredients you have and just trying to work out what more can I do with that. How do you capture that wow factor? And it was all about wow. It's like when you pick it up and you smell it, you go, wow, that beer is just like, I've never smelled anything like it before. And you drink it and just got that massive flavor explosion. I wanted to capture um, something that defined sort of the big flavours and aromas that I, I like to brew. I was trying to capture New Zealand being sort of at the edge of the world and so far away and anyone that's ever come here has come on an epic journey. It's trying to be the absolute best every single time, starting from ingredients and brewing process. I think it's that attention to detail and just being really obsessive about absolutely every component that makes up the beer and makes up the brand and, and everything that's associated with it. It's, it's the absolute best that I can do right now with what's available to me and I'll be striving to be better again. I'm Luke Nicholas, the founder and owner of Epic Brewing Company.